Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am in the kitchen this morning. I just put um, the beets that we got at the food bank in my Instant Pot. I just cut the <clears throat> cut the stems off about an inch above the actual beet. And then I washed them and then I put them in there with about a cup of water. I'm gonna try for 15 minutes um, and see how well that cooks them and if I need to do longer then I can do that but I'm gonna start those we're gonna have those with our lunch today I'm also gonna make some um, cheesy hamburger potato casserole thing in my instant pot I am gonna try to use my instant pot more because it's summer and it gets hot in the kitchen whenever I have to cook stuff so I'd like to figure out some recipes I can use my instant pot for and um, use that more often so it's not heating the whole kitchen up. I also am getting ready to make some almond milk in my milk maker that I have. Um, but I was looking at my fridge and I have zero room in my refrigerator for anything. So I need to either organize it or something before I can make almond milk so that I have somewhere to put my almond milk once I'm done cooking it. So today is Tuesday and Austin's gotta go to work this afternoon. And the kids and I are just hanging out. I've got a little list of chores that I'd like to try to get done today. Some cleaning stuff, some decluttering stuff. I've got a hair stuck in my hand. <clears throat> so that's what we're doing today. Hey, go ahead, flip it. The top one. Don't look. You're not supposed to look. You just throw it after. <laughs> okay, Biddy. Just the <laughs> Clay needs to be closer. He won't be able to reach. You can reach? Okay, flip your card out. It's your turn. You gotta flip it over as you go. Okay, so that would have been a sandwich if we were playing sandwiches. Yeah, but we're not playing sandwiches. You see what a sandwich is? It's an ace, a, and then another ace. No, no. It's just. Ace. It's an ace. Alright, my beets are done. I'm gonna check and see how they did. They've been sitting here for like 30 minutes. They look like they're probably cooked. And so now. We play again, work. But yeah, they are cooked. Okay, so I'm gonna string these out and then I'm gonna rinse them under cold water and peel the skins off. And then I'll slice them up into a bowl and they'll be ready for us to have with our lunch. Eight, I'm not five! Get your 
Shut the door all the way. Oh, no. Bye, 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 bye. What That's are you okay. doing? All right, for lunch we're having hamburger, potato, cheesy casserole. So Kyla's in here peeling potatoes for me. And I'm gonna turn my Instant Pot on to saute and get my hamburger out and put in there and get it cooking. these taters in here on top of my meat. I'm just going to put some salt in here and some pepper and I cook the meat with some onions and garlic, minced garlic. I'm just going to mix it all up. Of water in here, maybe a little less. on manual for 15 minutes. Oops. There we go. Make sure it's sealed. Okay, for some reason my Instant Pot doesn't want to seal. This thing is wiggling around but it won't pop up. This is the second time it's done this. I'm trying to cook this. So I'm going to let it finish cooking the time and see if the potatoes are done by then. And I'll get my bread put in the oven. I'm just going to put it on broil and melt the butter on the top. Lots of mail. Thank you for getting it. And then I'm gonna warm these beets up and that will be our lunch. All 
All right, it's after lunch now. It's like 1.45. It's hot out here. It's 90, 90 some degrees. I'm gonna sit outside for a little while in the shade. The All the kids are in the pool. Coulter's actually gone today. He went to work with his papa. And so, oh, did you get him out? So he's gone today. Kaylee's inside. The kids are swimming in the pool. We have had this pool. This is the third summer that we've had this pool. And I've had to patch a couple holes. Lady B, you need to get down off of there, please. Um, I've had to patch a few holes in this pool, but this is the, it's held up really well. Um, and actually I'm thankful my dad bought it for the kids for birthday presents. Um, so I didn't have to buy it, which is nice. But this is the first year using our new um, filter over there. It's a big sand filter. I bought it last year when they were, um, I bought it before pools and stuff skyrocketed in price. And then when I went to set it up last year, it had pieces missing. So thankfully it was still under warranty and I was able to send it all back. Hopefully you can hear me with the wind blowing. So I sent it back and they sent us a brand new one. And um, we got it set up this year and it's working really well to keep, keep the water clean. Um, so the kids are enjoying that. See how warm the water is. See something? 74 degrees it says. It's been getting kind of cool at night. But you can see it's got some green stuff in the bottom. Um, I need to figure out better with the chemicals and stuff. And I need to have one of the kids go along. Carla May? You go along with your feet and scrub the green stuff so it'll go into the water and that way the filter can clean it all out of there. Because I did put some more shock in it and I put some more pills Mama. in the, some chlorine pills Mama. in there, so. Mama. What, sweetie? Mama. Don't go in the house. Mama. I see you, are you having so much fun? I need you to get yeah. a Go pick your, pick your head in the door. Yeah. He's sitting at the table. Daddy, Baby just floats around with his floaties, huh? Yeah. So fun. <laughs> See if you can touch the bottom without your floaties. Can you touch? Yeah. Yeah, look at how big you are. Mom, yes. What? Wow, good job. <laughs> Kyla's practicing with the snorkel. There you go, good job. Wow, baby mister. Good job. Hey, you guys need to stir up all this dirty stuff so the filter will clean it off. Clean it out of there. Okay. I smell I'm watching. You need to close your mouth before you put it under the water. There you go. Take a big breath and then close your mouth and keep it closed. There's Kyla. She's snorkeling away. Good job, baby. It's like music. You know the bubbles? It's like bubbles. I yeah. Mean, it's like music. <gasps> you didn't put your face in, you silly. I'm watching. Yep. I can see I stood it up a little bit. Good job. Betty, can you hold your breath and go underwater and swim without your floaties? Try it. Careful. Good job, Biddy. Go underwater. Go. Go. 
<laughs> nice, pretty girl. Oh, Good job. Whoa, good one, Clayton. Good job. Mom, I can pull the one. I see you. Ready? Go. Why are you making that face? <laughs> Alright, um, it's almost 3 o'clock now. I, on Sunday, you're silly, um, at church we had a going away party for a family who was moving away and I had made a bunch of cupcakes to take. Um, I'm still trying to figure out my cupcake recipe that I use. I don't know. I'm guessing like one batch probably makes two or three dozen cupcakes so anyway I doubled my recipe and I have a bunch of cupcakes left so I'm gonna go inside and make frosting so that we can have cupcakes they're sourdough chocolate cupcakes and I'm gonna make frosting so that we can have those for a snack today to try to get them all eaten up they're really really good they're very delicious um, so I'm gonna go make some frosting up yeah. Yeah. you wanna get um, have a cupcake yeah. All right, everybody's done with their snack. So we're going downstairs now. We're gonna do some cleaning down here and decluttering and organizing. Oh, nope, take it upstairs and put it in the sink, please. So I was down here earlier and I made some piles of things that need to go outside to the storage that have just been sitting down here. Um, and also, like I've got a tub here that's full of freeze-dried eggs. Those need to go to the root cellar, so I'll take them upstairs so that we can take them out to the root cellar. Got a heater, some other things that just need to be hauled up so we can take them out of the house for now. The basement, our house is not big with 10 of us living here. We've got three bedrooms and two bathrooms and about 1,600 square feet. It's about 800 up and 800 down. It's small. And so it's pretty small and it fills up very quickly with stuff. And it's so nice. So I feel like I'm constantly having to declutter things. Uh, but I did just warn the kids that I'm in the getting rid of mood to get rid of things. So if they don't want me to get rid of something, they need to put it up. So we're gonna clean down here. You can see we've got clothes piled that need folded. Um, but I'm going to have the boys haul this stuff upstairs and set it outside the door. And then later on we'll take it out to the Connex. And then we're going to clean down here. Those are freeze-dried eggs.
we're making some progress. We got the stuff taken upstairs. Oh, I got it. Did you break your screwdriver? No. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, but these kids over here are making a bigger mess than what we're trying to clean up. What? Look at those. Look at those engines. It's amazing. A motor? Crispy is a little engineer guy. He likes to take things apart and rebuild. So, um, I got this done out here. We got, well, we got something out. Cleaned out the toy box. That whole thing is full of trash. And then we're working on the boys' room also. It's a mess right now. Um, I had, I'm watching sheets and mattress covers, so we've got that over there going on. And the sheets are done, and then we'll put this thing back together. Can you move that? Please don't hit the light, okay? I won't. Be careful. Look at this. Whoa. It's very comfy. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to vacuum in here and get this cleaned up um, because that is a mess over there. Needs cleaned up and just needs vacuum. This is where all that stuff was sitting that we took out, so we're going to clean it up. And then I think I'll be done down here until the sheets are done. Then we'll come make the beds back up and get that room cleaned up and then fold laundry. Yeah. All right, it is 8.30 now. The kids and I just got done reading. Kyla, can you go out and get all the wet clothes and bring them in, please? Mm -hmm. um, we're reading through the first book of the Wing Feather Saga. So we just finished doing that. And I'm getting kids put in bed. All right, so I'm calling it a night. Thank you for watching today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you guys on the